small, forgotten town of Birchwood, nestled deep within. The dense forests of the Pacific Northwest, there exists a legend that few dare to speak of. It's a tale whispered by the townsfolk, passed down through generations, and it's unlike any other. The story begins with a seemingly ordinary family who moved to Birchwood in the late 1800s. The Carters were known for their reclusive nature and their peculiar aversion to sunlight. They lived in a centuries-old mansion, isolated from the rest of the town, and never ventured out during daylight hours. Intrigued by the mystery surrounding the Carters, decided to explore their eerie estate, armed with only a dim lantern. He crept through the overgrown garden and made his way to the mansion's cellar door. As he descended into the depths, the air grew colder and the atmosphere grew oppressive. In the cellar, Jacob discovered a hidden chamber, its walls adorned with intricate symbols and strange, ancient artifacts. Among them was a dusty, leather-bound book. Its pages contained spells, incantations, and dark rituals that sent a chill through Jacob's spine. He knew he had uncovered something forbidden. Weeks passed, and Jacob couldn't resist the allure of the book's secrets. He began to dabble in the occult, performing rituals under the pale glow of the moon. He grew more distant from his family and friends, his obsession consuming him. One fateful night, a powerful storm descended upon Birchwood. Thunder rumbled, and lightning split the sky as Jacob attempted a particularly sinister ritual from the book. And beknownst to him, his incantation had awakened an ancient evil that had been slumbering beneath the town for centuries. The ground trembled, and a darkness emerged from the depths. It took the form of a shadowy figure, cloaked in despair and malevolence. It whispered to Jacob, promising untold power in exchange for his soul. Jacob, now terrified, tried to flee, but it was too late. The entity enveloped him, and his agonized screams echoed through the cellar. As the storm subsided, the townsfolk emerged from their homes, drawn to the mansion by an eerie, otherworldly presence. They found the cellar door ajar and descended into the depths. What they saw haunts their dreams to this dire cavernous abyss with strange, flickering lights and grotesque, shifting shadows. The Carters were never seen again, and the mansion was abandoned, left to crumble into ruins. A town shrouded in darkness both literal and figurative. To this day, they say the darkness still lingers, waiting for another curious soul to stumble upon its secrets and awaken its malevolent power. Is this story true? The townsfolk of Blackwood insist that it is, and they warn all who dare to seek the truth. Some mysteries are best left undiscovered, and some legends are all too real. I hope you found this tale both mysterious and captivating, as requested. Remember, whether it's real or not, the fear it evokes can be all too convincing.